Diabetic kidney disease is the most common form of progressive kidney disease in the United States. And most of diabetes is type 2 diabetes, which is the one that typically happens in adults. And it progresses through a very uh, stereotyped number of stages. First, you develop a stage called microalbuminuria. And this is a stage where there are very, very minute quantities of protein, mostly albumin, that can be detected in the urine. The protein itself is not dangerous to the kidney, but it's not supposed to be there and is usually one of the first indications you see that the diabetes is starting to affect the kidneys. Think of it this way. The kidney is sort of like a sieve. Imagine you're washing blueberries in the sink. The blueberries go in the sieve, you pour in the water, that holds all the blueberries in, and the water goes out. If you start to see blueberries in the sink, well, there's nothing wrong with the blueberries, but it means you have a hole in your sieve. Same thing with the kidneys. The kidneys are supposed to keep all of that protein inside and let all the urine flow out. If you start to see protein in the urine, it's not that you're eating too much or too little protein or the wrong protein, it means that there's little tiny holes in the kidney that really shouldn't be there and it's usually caused by the diabetes. After that, you start to see more and more protein in the urine, and this is a stage called macroalbuminuria or frank proteinuria, and this is protein that's so high level that it's detectable by dipstick. After that, you start to see it in the blood work, where you see an increase in a blood test called the creatinine, and that measures how well your kidneys are working. The higher it is, the worse your kidney disease, and it typically gets worse and worse over time with diabetes until you progress to frank kidney failure, which requires transplantation or dialysis. This whole process takes a long time, from the development of type 2 diabetes to microalbuminuria to proteinuria to kidney disease to dialysis. Each stage takes approximately five years or so. So there's plenty of time if you detect it to intervene. However, there's only a few drugs that have been proven to slow down this progression. There's a drug called an ACE inhibitor or an angiotensin receptor blocker, which is a type of high blood pressure medication. And there's another medication called an SGLT2. And these certainly have their use in the treatment of diabetic nephropathy. However, Diet is also very important, but up until now, there really hadn't been any trials. The best we could say was that if you could use the diet to reverse your type 2 diabetes, then it's likely that you're not going to develop worsening diabetic kidney disease because you don't have the diabetes.